Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learned data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding customer details, both firstly in Python and then using MySQL as well, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions in such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, has been asked in Amazon interviews. Let's jump right in. So find the details of each customer regardless of whether the customer made an order, output the customer's first name, last name and the city along with the order details. Okay. We might have duplicate rows in our results due to a customer ordering several of the same items. Sort the records based on customer's first name and the order details in ascending order. Okay. So we basically have two data frames, customers and orders, and the expected output is a pandas data frame, right? And let's see how the expected output look like. So, okay, so we have the first name, last name, city, and order details, and you can have null values, it does not matter. Also, there can be duplicate rows, right? As you can see for Eva Lucas, uh, there has been different orders made, so, and it is perfectly fine because the question says that. Okay, so let's see what do we have in the data frames, customers and orders. Like if you want, we can just scroll down and see, okay, these are the different columns, but like why do that? Like let's just use Python to display that. Okay, so we can use the head method of a data frame, right, to display the first five rows. So customers.head, let's see what it gives us. Okay, so basically you have first name, last name, city, address, phone number in the customer's uh, uh, data frame, right? Now in the orders data frame, what do you have? So we have customer ID, so here ID, customer ID, right? So this is the column you will be joining right order date order details total order cost okay so if you think about it you need three columns from customers data frame and one column from the orders data frame right so obviously the first thing that we need to do is merge this information right how do we merge it so in the customers data frame you have id and in the orders data frame you have cust id right so here the name of the columns in two different data frames are different. So how can you do that? In the last video, if you remember, we use, uh, we wrote the pd.merge, the first data frame, second data frame on is equal to the name of the common column. I think if I remember currently, correctly, it was department, right? Now, but in this case, the name of the columns are different. So let's see how we can do this. Okay, so let's create a data frame called merged by could merging these two data frames. So we write PD dot merge, then we write the name of the first data frame. So customers name of the second data frame orders. Then in this you can use instead of writing on, you can write left on and right on. So left on is basically on which column from the left table you want to merge and from which column you want to merge from the right table, right? So, so you write left on and in the left on basically customers table, we have which column ID column, right? So we write ID and then right on and in the orders table, which column do you have? You have cust ID, right? Cust ID, this column, cust ID. Okay, now this is the on clause. Now you need to also specify how do you want to merge it, right? So you write how and we want to merge it left join or do a left join. Okay, let's return the first five of merge data frame, right? So you have the first name, last name, city, address, etc. Okay, one thing, did you notice? So here we have same column names, so ID in customers and ID in orders as well, right? So same column names. So if you merge, Python automatically knows to distinguish it, right? So it says ID underscore X here and ID underscore Y here. So why I'm telling you this, because in some of the questions you might have to rename it so make sure that if you are renaming after merging, right? So make sure that you are writing underscore Y underscore Z underscore A, B, C, whatever comes uh, so that, you know, uh, your code does not fail, right? Okay, so we have this, but obviously we don't need the entire thing, right? 
what all do we need we need the first name last name city and the order details right so order detail this these columns so what we can do is we can write our final data frame is equal to merged and how do you keep only certain columns from a data frame you can provide a list of those column names right so we write first name right first name then last name and then city right first name last name city and then the order details so order details right uh, let's see what we are getting so again run so yeah we have first name last name city order till this is not over yet right so it says sort records based on customers first name and then order details in ascending order right so what you need to do you need to sort this as well so how can you sort it in python you can use the method sort values so you can write dot sort underscore values and by which column or which columns you can you want to sort so you need to write by is equal to if there is only one column you simply write the name of the column but if you have multiple columns to sort by you just provide a list right so we need to first name and then order details right and by default it sorts in ascending order okay so let me run this okay so this is what we get if we match so yeah everything looks good let me just submit it to see what happens okay so yeah thing looks green so i think every test case has been passed again not very difficult question but let's do the same thing in mysql so basically the logic is same in like whatever language you use right the only thing is how do you write that code and what is the syntax but here what did we do we simply merged the two tables or two data frames kept certain columns and then sorted by the same thing if you switch to mysql you are going to do right so let's switch to mysql okay so now we are going to solve this using mysql everything is same right so you have information in two different tables call customers and orders the expected output is same right nothing has changed so how can you do that so you need to write from this table call customers right a list as c let's left join the table call orders a list as o on here you don't need to write left on right on right here you can just simply write the name of the columns with the alias of the tables right so c dot id is equal to o dot cust id so did you see the combination or the reference from python right so you do this then you return certain columns right so you return the first name from customers table last name from customers table and the city from the customers table and the order details from orders table so o dot order details right and it's still not over yet you need to also sort by so we write order by c dot first name and then o dot order details okay so this looks good let me run okay so we got our output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes everything everything look good the uh, output is same as what we got from python so yeah this is how we do it again very simple thing where uh, same similar stuff right so here we use order by there we used sort values right here you don't need to write left on or right on in python you need to do that right so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let me know like on this particular question which one was easier like is do you find this more logical or to do the same thing in python right so yeah uh, let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video